hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn more about this kind of text animations and kinetic typography then don't forget to check out my udemy course on kinetic typography and title animations link is available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate I am going to choose 30 second and background I am going to choose white color and duration uh, is 30 second. Let's make this background black and simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles section. Now I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type one text over here. So for the font, I'm going to choose Oswald font, but you can choose whatever font you want. I'm going to choose semi bold version and all caps should be on. Then let's type our text. I'm going to type B over here. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Now we will select this text over here and now uh, let's uh, do one thing. Uh, I'm going to select this text and let's go to the character menu and we are going to choose black color for this uh, you know text and white color for this stroke and stroke width I'm going to choose 0.5 or let's say 0.3 okay and let's make this full resolution like this. Now we need to animate this text so what we can do we will select our rectangle tool and i don't want any stroke so i'll delete the stroke and for the fill i'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok and let's create one rectangle like this now select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab and align it horizontally okay then go to the track mat and of this text and choose alpha mask so we will get something like this now select both the layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second layer and we are going to choose alpha inverted mask now select this text layers press p for position create one keyframe go to around let's say 1.20 frames and we will create another keyframe now let's go to the start let's select this text and we will bring this upward over here like this then it's okay we will fix this thing later then select this text and we will move this downwards like this now over here as you guys can see we are getting this kind of problem so to get rid of it what you can do simply select this mask over here and first of all select your pen behind tool and uh, enable this snapping option and simply bring this anchor point downward then select your selection tool and we will de-increase the size of this mask like this so if you see now we will get this kind of reveal now select those keyframes and let's hit f9 then we have graph editor over here simply select this right click and choose edit speed graph select this text graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get this kind of text over here like this okay then after that uh, we need to type we need to do certain things so let's select both of these layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as one and hit ok select these two layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as two and simply hit ok so if you see we will get something like this then uh, uh, as you guys know that this animation is ending at 1.20 frames so now i'm going to select both of these layers and press p for position and let's create one keyframe go to around 3 or 3.10 frames select this two and we will move this downwards select this one and we will move this upwards like this okay and select both of these layers and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here 
so if you see we will get this and then this okay now we need to add some extra elements to this animation so for that what we can do i'm going to create one ellipse and over here i'm going to create one ellipse like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and then i'll select this ellipse i'll hit ctrl d press p for position and let's bring this at this size okay now select both of these layers and press p for position create one keyframe then at this point i want both of this ellipse should be at the center so i'll select both of them and i'll go to the align tab and i'll choose align horizontally so what will happen they will come at the center and now select the both of them and hit f9 like this and then go over here and we will copy first keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframe and let's hit f9 over here so we will go to the graph editor so if i see i'll get something like this so now we need to adjust the graph but uh, let's do one thing i'll select this keyframe and let's move them over here so it will start to animate from here only so now select those keyframes and go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get this small stuff and now we will select this handle we'll move this over here select this by holding shift we will move this over here so if you see we will get something like this okay now uh, over here we need to do one more thing uh, so first of all make sure that you are at the last point and now we are going to select our paint tool or you can choose even rectangle tool also so let's do rectangle tool and we are going to create one rectangle like this make sure that it should be very small select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it uh, horizontally and then align it vertically then press p for position and let's move this over here zoom in a little bit and make sure that it should touch the edge of this ellipse like this okay now select this uh, thing and uh, we should make it apparent with this ellipse so let's select this one hit enter and let's call it as rectangle sorry for the spelling mis mistake but you can avoid it hit ctrl d again and uh, let's move this over here zoom in and let's try to move this over here okay now uh, this rectangle uh, which is over here it should be parent with this ellipse so i'll select this and i'll make it apparent with this third ellipse then select this one it should be parent with this fourth one i mean uh, yeah this fourth one so if you see uh, we will get something like this okay yep now over here what we need to do now i want one string type of structure in between these two so for that what we can do i'm going to select my pen tool and let's delete this fill we don't need that and we are going to add stroke for white color let's move one point over here and one point over here okay so we will get this kind of string like structure so select this press ctrl alt home uh, go over here at this point i'll move this over here let's press s unlink this create one keyframe go to the last keyframe and let's make this again one keyframe over here now at the start the size of this uh, thing should be zero so i want this kind of animation over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor we will select this graph by hold sorry we will select this graph make sure to select selection tool i'll select this by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get this kind of string like structure and instead of uh, scaling it totally 100 i would like to scale it somewhere around over here like this and let's uh, increase the stroke width so it should be visible 
like this. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Now along with this, I'm going to select this and I'll hit Ctrl D and hit U and let's go to the last frame and over here i'm going to increase the scale on y totally up to like this it's okay if the value of this too much and also decrease the scale of this one to somewhere around over here like this and let's go over here we will select this value hit ctrl c go over here and make sure to hit ctrl v okay so we'll get something like this and if you want uh, then you can select this and try to adjust the position somewhere around over here like this and uh, you can select this and you can move this thing a little bit forward so it will take a little bit time to animate you can select this you can move this downwards like this okay now we will type our uh, different text over here so let's type the best and i'm going to choose black color for it Oh, sorry let's delete this and add black color and align this text properly at the center press ctrl alt home press s and try to adjust the size and go to the character menu let's decrease adjust the distance between these alphabets somewhere around like this somewhere around over here then you can select this shape layer hit ctrl d bring this at the top then you can choose as alpha mask also okay so if you see this now we will get something like this and then uh, we have these two rectangles over here select both of them press r for rotation create one keyframe go over here and let's make it uh, another keyframe go to the start and let's make this minus one initially so we will get this rotation animation over here like this and you can select those keyframe and hit f9 like this okay and if you want then you can go over here you can make this again uh, minus one if you want like this it's totally up to you and press f4 simply select all of them and enable their motion blur so we will get a little bit of depth in our animation now simply select all of them press ctrl shift c and hit ok and go to the uh, effect and presets go to and search for transform effect and simply double click to apply and you can make this minus 7 skew value somewhere around like this so we will get something like this and if you want to add a little bit more extra stuff you can simply select this hit ctrl d select the second one and increase the size press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 10 or you can choose even 5 pixels okay so this is how you will get this and you can select this second layer and you can move this a little bit forward like this so this is how you can create this kind of elegant text animations inside of after effects